SETV Season 1 was a lot of fun. We built some things, reviewed some equipment, hosted Klosh Chopper Clinic, worked on some more choppers, honored some awesome employees, took you guys along on a trade-in, and spent a lot of time in the back lots. Oh my goodness! But we're just getting started. Oh, SETV Season 2 starts now. Welcome back to Season 2 of SETV. We've been away for a while, and one of the reasons were the thing behind me, it's an old building and it's been remodeled many times and we added to it this past year and we remodeled it again. And it kind of prohibited us from putting out as many videos as we'd like because our offices were being moved around and finally got into a permanent spot now where we can get back into the rhythm. Season two, episode one, which this one, we're gonna start off by showing you around the new remodeled showroom before and after photos. As far back as we know, this was CNL farm machinery sales back in the 50s. Before that, it was something else. We actually don't even know what it was. But in uh, 1988, my dad bought it from Keels. It's been Sculton's equipment ever since. This is the first major overhaul we've done to this building. And we ran into some cool, cool things along the way, like you would with an old building and different things you have to work around. Anyways, come along and take a look at our new remodeled showroom. So at Skolton's Equipment, we have a lot of tires, a lot of new tires and a lot of used tires. My dad has a little bit of a habit of uh, collecting used agriculture tires, and they sit in this row that's here. And we had a good inventory a few years back, but our inventory just got out of whack. Some of them have gotten lost in the dirt and just buried by other tires. They come out here and look for it, it's not here. So I've been trying to talk my dad into for the past three years to let's go through the tires and get rid of the ones that aren't worth anything. And he's resisted me a lot because my dad does not like to get rid of things. But this week he gave in. When I mentioned this to my guys, uh, Bennett and Mo, they weren't very thrilled, but we're gonna do it because moving tires is a lot of work. This tire row, last time it got cleaned out was 20 years ago. We had an auction in 1999. My dad sold all the tires in this row. He said it was the worst part of the sale because no one wanted them. We didn't have any tires here in 1999 because we sold them all. And since then we have accumulated all these back. We are in the process of finding a company that's gonna take them on a recycling basis where they chip them up into like AstroTurf, but we're having a hard time trying to locate the right company that's gonna come here and take them. So right now we're just piling them up. But anyways, come along and we'll talk to the guys doing all the work. We don't even know what tires we have, don't have, what sizes are out here. So Mike went ahead and deleted everything off of the website. It didn't look this good earlier this morning and it is far from looking good right now. There's a big old pile of tires over there that were thrown out, recycling, AstroTurf fields, I don't know. These ones that are here are left and they need to be organized. So right here we have a set of two. They gotta both get stock numbered. Then we'll park them by like size other tires. The pallets are so old and dilapidated, they're falling apart, becoming one with the earth. So a lot of it's restacking them. Pairs together, full sets together. Over the course of 25 years, it kind of gets a little just out of control. We're fixing those problems. And there is Mo, doing the typical nothing while I do everything. Just kidding, he's actually been a pretty good help. He does all the book work. We got the GR2s and the T4s, and the Michelin is a good year. 13.6 down to the 28. Woo! -wee! I don't want to do a front flip with that tire. You can try. You couldn't even dive through those tires. You know how bad that's gonna hurt when he hits the ground? That's 
how it's done. The next day. My back's been kind of messed up ever since yesterday. It's your turn to go uh, front foot out the wheels. No, bro. I am beat. Day one was, eh, day two will be better. Shabang! Howdy, Mo. What's Gucci, man? <laughs> Just gonna stick these forks right here under this tire. We're gonna see what kind of stuff we can do. So that would make sense. Oh, there we go. I do need a pallet though. Doing the cart before the horse. We're gonna take it way over yonder for a pallet. Oof. Get Kevin. There's a wild Kevin right there. <laughs> he doesn't even want to look. Left handed throws. I'll put some oomph into it. Baseball, bro. Oh, now it's done. Pop the shoulder. As you can see, slowly turning into usable space again. There was a lot of tires here. Getting to the point where I just really don't want to do this anymore. Shabangers, we got all of it done. It was a lot of work. Yeah, we got likewise tires, sets, pairs, all of the above. Everything's sorted out, bad tires are thrown away. We have over 100 sets of tires now posted on the, uh, the website, so don't let all my hard work go to waste and come buy some tires, man. So if you like this episode and you like what you see here, smash that like button and subscribe to us so you can see all the other fun videos and stuff we do around here at Skolton's Equipment. Hello, my name is Courtney Johnson and I'm a service rider. Hello, my name is Kevin Dykstra and I'm a class technician. I'm just here so I don't get fined. <laughs> I'm here so I won't get fined. My name is Lance Honkoop and I am part of the parts department team at the front counter. I'm Kristen Olson. I work in the office at Scolton's Equipment. Hi, my name is Russell. <laughs> I'm trying to be a TV star. I can't even keep a straight face now. My name's Dustin O'Brien. I'm shipping and receiving and parts. Hi, my name is Russell Huskison, and I'm a truck driver for Scolton's Equipment. Just the amount of stuff that comes in and out of here, parts and the amount of work getting done here, it seems like it'd be a lot bigger because there's a lot of stuff that gets done here. It's kind of cool how like they work on tractors and everything. I learned how to do that a little bit. The thing that's really surprised me is how many parts that we ship out of the county and how much business there is outside of Whatcom County that we do. I mean, the variety of things that I get to do is, is kind of cool. You know, I'm never doing the same thing. Every day is different. Parking the tractors everywhere. That's got to be the funnest part. All of it. I like all of it. I like my job. I like putting orders away. I like shipping stuff. It's all good. Figuring out the journals, that's been something that's fun for me. I don't know, dude. Looking up parts for customers as they come to the counter. Dealing with the guys from the shop, I like all of it. I like working here a lot. I don't, I'm not enjoying planning the Christmas party. Like, that's a thing. <laughs> Cleaning. <laughs> they made me clean the shit off the chopper seat. So we took a crap at it? What? <laughs> I don't know if I have any least favorites. Raul. Hands down, Raul. <laughs> no. I called twine string rope. I'm pretty sure Audrey's not gonna let me live that down. Yeah, my first three months. <laughs> Having to ask Dan and Brent everything. I mean, everybody knows I'm the Flash, so I can't. <laughs> you cannot run a mile in three minutes, unless you're me. Dressing up as a John Deere parts guy, that was pretty fun and entertaining. And then getting put on YouTube, yes. <laughs> When Raul was pushing Russ around and on a little tractor. <laughs> that never happened. My 
hobbies include not working, fishing, like to ride my four wheelers, I guess. Mountain biking. I'm a mom, I don't have hobbies. Hiking, fishing. I love going wake surfing. Snowboarding. Hanging out with kids and the family. Kayaking and hiking with the wife. Video games. I don't have a lot of hobbies. Well, I'd hope so. Do you really want me to spell it? <laughs> Stop, I know how to spell it. No. <laughs> I went to Nexac. Should I read your hat or just yeah. spell it? S C H O L T E N apostrophe S. I can do that. <laughs> Are you waiting for me to say Schultz? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Raul might have to leave. Oh, hey, Steve. I'm just gonna add to this. Believe it or not, I'm working. My face hurts. Oh, I'm okay. Oh. <laughs>